Just a quick video to tell you that we now have the times that New World's first paid expansion, Rise of the Angry Earth, is going to be going live. And they've just tweeted this, so let me show you what we've got. And I want to provide a little bit of extra context that I think they may have slightly screwed the pooch a little bit. So as I said, they tweeted this. Now the main time zone you're probably want to going to look at will be 9am Pacific Daylight Time. That is where Amazon Game Studio are based. That is the time zone they are definitely not going to mess up. Eastern Daylight Time is four hours ahead of that, and that completely checks out. That lines up, we're all happy with that. I'm not sure about the Australian time or the Brazilian time or anything like that, but I can say that the Pacific Daylight Time and the Central European Standard Time or Summer Time, I think it actually is, is slightly off. If you do a Google search right now, 9 a.m. would actually be 6 o'clock European time and only 5 o'clock UK time. So just a little bit of context there. Basically, they're saying that they're only 8 hours ahead, but actually it's 9 hours difference. 8 hours from Pacific time to UK, sure, but 9 hours from Pacific time to Central European summer time. So I'm guessing this one might be a little bit off. And it's a little bit awkward because sometimes they use UTC and then you've got to wonder if they're doing summertime or what have you. This one, I think, may actually be a little bit of a mistake. They're probably going to tweet an updated version of it because, as I said, those two times are not the same time. Now, it might be that Europe's going to get it a little bit earlier, but I strongly, strongly suggest that's not going to be the case. What's going to be more interesting to me is how long is this downtime going to be? because they mentioned this on the Discord. Basically, you're going to have to re-download the entire game. Everybody has to re-download the entire game. Now, I'm assuming that this is some kind of like technical challenge that maybe they can't do without doing this, but they literally say here, sorry to make you cry, but the 10 slash three patch, which is not the 10th of March as it really should be, it's actually the 3rd of October, you know, Americans and their dates and all that kind of jazz. But basically, Everybody has to rebase their installation and download the whole client again. Prepare for lengthy download times. Now, depending on your internet speed, that could be a very, very long time. But for a lot of people with fiber optic, it might be a couple of hours, depending on how insane your internet is or how bad it is. In the UK, it's sort of a mixed bag. My internet's all right, but it's not that great. The key question really is how long are we going to have before we can actually start the download and then get into the game? effectively this could become sort of like it's not pay to win i'm just sort of messing about here but whoever has the fastest internet could have a situation where they literally get into the game first which would be a little bit weird i don't know if they'll do it but they might artificially have an extended downtime if they do the downtime like five hours earlier and you can download it before that then it might be completely sort of fine and acceptable and everybody might have time to do it if you've got a reasonable paced internet if you've literally got, you know, snails transferring the data across wires, then you might have a problem no matter what, even playing on the day one. But I think for the majority of people, we probably need around two, three hours to download the entire game again. There's no point complaining about this, by the way. Obviously, I'm guessing they don't want to do it. It's just something that has to be done. When we find news when the actual maintenance is, I'll probably do a video on it as well, maybe, because we'll probably have patch notes. Eh, we'll see what we get. I was a little bit apprehensive about making this one because there's so little information in it, so I'm going to stop. Just quickly, anybody who was watching my stream earlier today, I had to stop because I was feeling a little bit under the weather. My belly is still a little bit off, but I just couldn't hack it. I felt like I was going to puke, but I'm feeling a lot better. I think I should be fine. Definitely in time for tomorrow's stream, so make sure you come and follow me over there. You can check on my well-being if you're really concerned. Big shout out to my patrons, guys. I do really appreciate you guys. I actually need to update this list. There's been a few more of you who have been added, so thank you very much to you. I know some of that's not going to be what you wanted to hear, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below have a most beautiful day like and subscribe goodbye